it's not the place that you usually expect me to see me coming from. And this kind of environment clearly is not where you expect to see me either. But let me tell you why I am so excited about what we're doing here. You know, when we opened our restaurant 25 years ago over on Clark Street, we not only became known as a place that gave great food, but one that could share the stories of that food. And especially through all of our books and our television shows, we have been able to bring food of another country alive in a way that many people haven't in a way that people that enjoyed that food could appreciate it much more. And so we're excited today to be able to say that this is the first time in live theater that food is actually going to be a leading character. And like any character, food will speak to each of the audience members, but this time it will speak through flavor and texture. The food will evoke memories and emotions, and it will share stories of bringing people together, bridging chasms, and transforming lives. Now, food's character can be vast and complex. And we're going to give you a little bit of a taste of that right now. Because what we're going to present to you to taste maybe will be a little surprising because sometimes food can be a little prankster. So we're going to invite you to taste our cherry jello with whipped cream and see where it takes you, what story it tells to you. Sometimes food can be loving and comforting. Sometimes food can be incredibly grounding, weaving together people and place and time. Food can sometimes be exhilarating. We all have stories of that, of things that we ate at celebratory moments with so many different people. We've all had memories of tasting that first peach or that first tomato in the summertime, tasting food that reminds us of something that our grandmother made, maybe tasting a Whopper that reminds you of the back seat of a car in high school. <laughs> But this is not going to be a typical dinner theater kind of moment. You know those places where you go through the buffet and then you sit down and you watch the show? The two experiences being completely different and usually um, not so satisfying in any way, shape, or form. No, in what we are going to offer to theater goers in Chicago is elements of a show, the food, the circus, the story, that are all inseparable. And one could not exist without the other. They're completely interwoven, they're interlinked, they're intermingled in every single way. Now, unfortunately, I, I have to say, and this really bumps me out, I have to say that the third member of this venture, Tony Hernandez, is not able to join us this morning for this press conference. Tony is an unbelievable gifted actor and circus performer. I was blown away with Hephaestus the first time I saw it back in 2010, and I got to know Tony through that. And it was just a couple of months, and we started dreaming up the idea for this particular production. But currently, he's performing at, at, in absinthe in front of Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And so he wasn't able to join us today for this amount, announcement. But I know if he were here right now, he, he would be...